In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use Python Selenium's WebDriver wait to find hidden elements on a web page. So let me show you what I mean by hidden element. So if we open up Chrome, here we can see an HTML file that I wrote, and we just have a button and some text. But if we hit this button, then more text will appear. So quickly, I'll refresh the page and inspect this. And here we can see that we have a button that calls a JavaScript function that adds the new element. And then we have a div called main content. And when we press reveal text, a new element gets added to that div and it has an ID of hidden element. So this is what we will be finding in this tutorial. So real quick, before we move on, I want to go over why we're using WebDriver wait. And that's because if this element isn't on the page, so if I refresh and then I tell Selenium, Hey, go find hidden element. It's going to look through and not be able to find it. And when Selenium can't find something, it just crashes. So the alternative to this is to use WebDriver wait. So it allows Selenium to pause itself for however long you want, usually, usually about 60 seconds. And if the element appears during that time, so if I were to press this button, then Selenium would instantly find it and say, hey, I found my element, I'm gonna proceed as normal. So that's exactly why we're implementing this. All right, so let's get started coding this. So we can start by saying set up waiter. So what we wanna do is we're going to use this import statement that I already wrote for us called WebDriver wait. And we're also going to use expected conditions. And we're going to use these two things in tandem in order to set up our waiter. So we'll say waiter is equal to wait. So this takes two things. It needs to know what is our driver. And up here we can see that driver is equal to webdriver.chrome. So we just need to pass driver. And then how long do we want to wait in seconds? So I'll say, try to find whatever element I specify in a minute. You can have up to 60 seconds to find it. And if you still don't find it after those 60 seconds, then just crash. That's totally fine. So then we'll say waiter.until ec.visibility of element located. Okay, so... Visibility of element located takes two things. Well, actually it takes a tuple. So I'll go ahead and write some parentheses. And in here, I'm going to say, search for this element by ID. And the ID is going to be the string hidden element. So I know the syntax is an absolute mess. I wish Selenium would simplify this a little bit, but you can just copy and paste these two lines of code. It's gonna work perfectly fine. So what does this actually do for us? And what's going to happen is our web browser is going to open up. We're going to navigate to, in your case, probably a website, but in my case, this HTML file that I made for us. And now we're going to say, Hey, I have a waiter. He's going to wait up for, he's going to wait up to 60 seconds in order for something to appear. So now we're going to say, start waiting and wait until you see something with an ID of hidden element. Once that happens, then we can actually proceed with normal Selenium code. So I'll say locate element and we'll say LBL hidden. So I'm going to say a label since it's a P tag. LBL hidden is equal to driver dot find element by dot ID and the ID is hidden element. So just normal find element code. So then all we'll do is we'll print the value of the hidden element. So the way we do that is we say print and then the name of our label. So LBL hidden dot get attribute. And since this is a P tag, we need to say inner HTML. So now let's run our code. And this might be a little weird to show on one monitor, but I'll do my best here. So Chrome opened up and I'll put Chrome over here and I'll put our console on the right. So currently our code is running. Nothing's happening though. But if I hit reveal text, then suddenly Chrome disappears and in our console we see I was hidden. So what was happening is we were just waiting and waiting and waiting for that element to appear. And as soon as I hit the button that added hidden element to the HTML, the rest of our code continued. We found the element, we printed out its inner HTML, and we closed the browser. Okay, so that wraps up how to use WebDriver wait to pause your Selenium application until some element is present. I hope you learned something, like the video if you liked it, thanks for watching.